Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC and we got the Mini Mono in the workshop. This is the original Mini Mono that I built in 2024. I ran it a lot and it just keeps on going. It's also pretty fast, it's about 45 miles an hour or 72 kilometers an hour. And uh, one of the last modifications I did last year was adding these lifting strakes. And they definitely helped to raise the boat from the water. But the cornering ability was decreased. The performance in the corners. I got some comments from you guys that I should modify the lifting strakes a bit. And uh, also when I look at my Pursuit Mono, I see that these lifting strakes make an inward bend. Basically how I marked it over here. And they don't just stop abrupt like this. So I'm going to make the bend like this with my rotary tool, with my Dremel. And uh, we're going to test it out. Well, it's not the best job that I ever did. It's kind of rough, but uh, it will do for a test right now. So from the sides, it looks pretty nice. From the top, mm, I could have done a more neat job, but let's see if it will improve the cornering performance. So let's head out to the pond. Right, we are at the pond with the Mini Mono, a zero to GPS. So let's put it in. All right, everything works. I'll tape it up and then we go. All right, guys. There we go. Nice. Okay, I need some trimming to the right. So this is the first run of the new year. This ja oh. It's uh, January 4th today, so... Wow! What's going on? Still some ducks in the water there. Okay, so... I noticed that it is... I'm walking a bit, so uh, that means that it is rotating on the longitudinal axis from left to right. Other than that, it runs pretty nice. Still those birds over there. I want to run some laps. A 10 second lap in this pond for this boat is uh, basically a good lap, a fast lap. But with these birds over there, well, let's try. There we go. Let's see what kind of lap time we can get. Whoa. That's the first lap. And that's the second one. Of course it's not really official because I don't have any uh, buoys, but... Man, it runs nice, but still it's less stable in the in the cornering, like that. Oh wow, flipped it, no way. All right, I'm going to save it. Oh.
I still think the cornering can be improved. Oh, well, got myself right there. Okay, that's already the light bulb. All right, well, <laughs> that was a handful. It's not very stable at the moment, and I think it's due to these lifting strakes. This boat, I think, just runs better without them. Okay, so what is the speed? Let's see. 67, which is not bad on a cold day like this. No, not hot at all. The lipo is 36 degrees. That is in Celsius. Motor is not even hot. 19. How about the wiring? No, the wiring is not hot. We're going to reset top speed. Is it zero? I'm going to put it in. I installed a fresh lipo. Let's see if we can beat top speed of the first one. I'm going to downrate the steering throw. Make a sprint. Nice. Make a second sprint. Right away, go for a lap. Wow, these birds. All right, nice. I have to cut a bit of the lap over there. This is a fast one. Let's go. Nice. I can only see the lap time at home. Oh. Wow, I landed it. It's a great passion boat. Basically, it really likes flat water because it has a, a very shallow V-shape and that's why I now developed a successor of this boat which I also sell as a laser cut kit which is the Cozy M500 It has exact same size so that's also a 50 centimeters or about oh, 20 inch long hull. Oh, the tape came loose. But uh, the M500 has a deeper V, more angle. So I think that will run better in uh, a little bit choppier water. And I'm very excited to test it out. I'm building mine right now. So I hope to maiden run it uh, in the upcoming weeks, if the water is not frozen. I already sold quite many of that kit, many of these kits. But uh, my conclusion for today is that this boat runs better without the lifting strakes. So going to remove them. It's just uh, less stable and less predictable. Even on the straights it is kind of chime walking. Not all the time but it does run nice and loose. So if I make some passes close by 
you can see that it's running loose. I know that uh, some of my friends, like Brenton, Brenton Baxter, shout out to you. He also built a mini mono and his mini mono runs a bit wet, but this goes to show that basically it can run quite loose. the lipo. That was a nice one. Let's see the speed. I guess it's a bit higher. My guess is 69 kilometers an hour. Let's see. Oh wow, a lot of water. And the speed is 68. Oh wow, yeah, the tape came loose. I should have stopped. It's not a good idea to to run your boat without a sealed hatch. Speed is 68. Nice. In the summertime, with a warm lipo, this boat runs about 72 kilometers an hour, which is 45 miles an hour approximately. 46 or 47 miles an hour maybe. So yeah, today's run, my conclusion is that these lifting strakes are not an improvement. They could be a little bit too big also for this boat, but uh, I just take them off and I will run the boat without because I know that it runs great without the lifting strakes. It was a nice trial, but I like this boat better without. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!